all of us make excuses every day we have reasons to make excuse we have valid reasons to make excuse excuse for why we do not obey excuse for why we are not going forward in life excuse for why things are the way they are in our lives and in this video I want to encourage you quit making excuses embrace quick obedience this is in line with god's purpose in your life this is in line with what god has placed in your heart as a prone thing what god is leading you to do why are you still making excuses could it be that because of these excuses that is the reason you are still where you are there is so much better at the other side of your yes if you say yes in obedience to god and move in to use your gift to use the things he has placed inside of you and make or create value i know you can talk about the limitation you can talk about the inadequacies for myself when i started this youtube channel the videos were not of quality both the sound and the video quality you can trust god my responsibility and yours is to believe that he can god can and that he will god will in the promises of god he keeps saying i will i will that's that's the word that marks the promise i will do this i will do that he has a lot of promises that he has given to us and the reality is i had to do it anyways because i had a lot of excuses and two years along the line things have improved i have progressed pastor mike thought would always say it is about progression not perfection progression over perfection now i am a perfectionist to a point that i want everything to be intact i want everything to be okay because i'm like there's that fear of failure there's that fear of you know people mocking at you and everything so i want to get it all together i want to get everything in place but most times in life you will not always have everything you need to start or move to where god wants you to go to or to do the things you need to do you won't always have all the resources all at once but then what is your excuse why are you still where you are and i hope that this video is going to open your eyes and make you understand that in life we could have valid excuses but god can excuse our excuses <laughs> the reality is that there were so many people that we kind of love when it comes to the scriptures and these people made so much excuses but god did not even look at their excuses he still used them now the first point is what are your limitations which is what you don't have or what you don't know or where you are currently when i started my youtube channel i did not have camera i used my phone I didn't have the lighting i used the lid like could you could see the video the background was poor and even the audio you cannot like god's love because you can't have it so but you can receive it and you can ignore it if you wish but such love is too wonderful for you to want to ignore god has so much dreams for you god has so much vision for you like everything was not in place but then i still had to start because i felt the prompting of god and along the line there is a lot that is changing i'm not still where i want to be but i'm not where i used to be now your excuse will keep you where you used to be and you are not making any progress but if you push back your excuse you can get from where you used to be to where you you get to be even though it's not where you want to be because it is about that progression now we have someone in the name gideon what do we call gideon a mighty man of valor he was this guy that we always say he used 300 men to fight thousands of soldiers and then he was not even a soldier to start with but god came to him and called him gideon oh you mighty man of valor many of the great people we see and admire in the bible made excuses and where as we are right now where you are right now as you're making excuses right now oh i came from Suso family my family background is so poor i didn't have a silver spoon i was i didn't grow up with this i didn't go to such a school i was not exposed to this or that oh i experienced so much trauma i'm not saying these things are not valid they are valid excuses what do you, do you hear about gideon the scripture says god came to him and called him mighty man of valor and it's such a blessed thing that you know this man does not even see himself as a mighty man of valor but god calls him a mighty man of valor which is opposite of what he believes about himself opposite of his own reality and god is calling him his potential while he is in his reality in a state that he does not even believe that he can do anything he's hiding from the enemies and god is like you are going to be the one to serve israel and then 
he made excuses what were his excuses let's read his credentials in judges chapter 6 verse 14 to 15 then the lord turned to him and said go with the strength you have and rescue israel from the midianite i am sending you but lord gideon replied how can i rescue israel my clan is the weakest in the old tribe of manasseh and i am the least in my entire family gideon has this list of excuses and this is why i'm telling you because excuses are valid you have every reason to state the limitations you have but you do not have to accept the limitation and remain where you are when he said this god did not even look at his excuse he says yes that's your reality but your reality does not stop you from attaining the potential that i am seeing in you what i have put inside of you because you are this mighty man of valor and the lord said to him surely i will be with you and you shall defeat the midianites as one man what are your excuses your tribe where you come from, you are the least in your family, you are the last born, you're not even the first born, or you are the first born, but you were not exposed, you were not sent to school, you do not have this, you do not have that. One time my father told me, you know, it was, I had the opportunity for him to say some words to me, which I and him have not really had a dad and son kind of, let's sit down and have a, conv- a conversation. But then I had this moment that I stole, which is my father was just talking to me directly. And then I had to record those moments. And one of the words he said to me was, you do not have to make excuses or blame anybody and say that your daddy or your mommy or this person did not do this for you. You have to get up and do things for yourself. And I took that very serious and that has helped me along the line because I'm not looking at someone, I'm not trying to be entitled to anybody that this person didn't do this for me or that person didn't do that for me in moving forward with my life because my life is my responsibility. If I start making excuses and become entitled, I am... kind of pushing away my responsibility i am avoiding accountability which is making excuses and this is why a lot of people are in the places that they are because they are pushing away accountability and their responsibility and being entitled now the number two question i will ask is what are your inadequacies yes you can talk about your background like gideon talked about i'm the least and my clan is the smallest but then you are now looking at okay now i can forsake those ones and decide to move forward but I have inadequacies. I don't think there is any, like, I don't think I have anything to offer the world. That's a lie. God made you and he made you on purpose with purpose. There are so many gifts in you. You know, there's this story in Matthew chapter 25 that the scripture talks about the talents that the king gave to his servants. He gave that one five, he gave the other one two and gave the other one one. The one that had five multiplied it and add ten. The one that had two multiplied it and add extra two. Then the one that had one said, this master is very wicked. Why would he be so wicked to give me only one talent, this small talent? He went to bury it. The master, when he came back, he said, you are a wicked master. But he gave you one. Why didn't you just use the one he gave to you? And he missed it all because he was lazy. Laziness can be the reason that you're not seeing what God has put in you the talent and the gifts God has put in you because you're not ready to hone it. You're not ready to work on it. I know this could be sound like a very hard thing, but then it's real. Sometimes we are lazy. Sometimes we are slothful. Of course, when the master came back, he told him, you are a slothful servant. You are telling me that I'm reaping where I did not sow. So now, it took, they took the one that they had and added to the one that had 10. The reality is all of us were not born empty. We were born naked but not empty. That's a book by my pastor. God did not make you empty. You came into the world full of potential. And then even if you think your potential is small compared to other people, you're not coming into the world to compare your life with other people's life. Your life is different. Your journey is different. What God has for you is different. So quit the excuses. Your inadequacies could be as a result of the insecurities and lack of confidence that you have. Let's talk about Moses for a bit. God called unto Moses, Now go, for I am sending you to Pharaoh. You must lead my people Israel out of Egypt. But Moses protested to God, Who am I to appear before Pharaoh? Who am I to lead the people of Israel out of Egypt? inadequacies who am i what do i have and he was looking at himself but who sent him god said i am sending you if god would send him god would send him fully prepared and packaged 
because God wouldn't send him empty. God did not send you into this world empty. God is not sending you to live this life empty. So stop looking at yourself like someone that is empty and do not have anything to offer because you have so much to offer. And don't act like that slothful servant who was just there and embrace the sense of inadequacy instead of embracing the union with God, working with God to get all the things that God has put into inside of him. Now God talked with Moses and took Moses through all these things that he's going to do and signs, gave him signs through his rod, through him putting his hands and then there was a leprosy on his hand and putting him back. You can read Exodus chapter 3 but still in chapter 4, after God has told Moses all of this, Moses still said, then Moses said to the Lord, oh my Lord I am not eloquent neither before nor since you have spoken to your servant, but I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. Look at this man. After seeing all these signs that God has given him, after seeing all these things that God has like showed him, and God has given him many instances, even if the people would not believe in him, God has given him instances upon instances. Moses still wanted to give excuse to avoid the responsibility of being a leader. I know he could be traumatized because once that he stepped up to fight for the Israelites, it led to trouble. So maybe it could be his trauma, it could be his insecurity. And what could that be for you? Why are you not getting up? Why are you not embracing what God has called you to do in life? Why are you still staying where you are? Are you afraid of someone? Are you afraid of something? Are you afraid of failure? What are the insecurities? Moses said that I am not eloquent. So the Lord said to him, Who has made man's mouth? Or what makes the mute, the deaf, the seeing, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be with your mouth and teach you what you shall say. This was an opportunity for Moses to just say, Okay, God, quick obedience, I'm going to go. But then, <laughs> he still had enough to say. But he said, Oh my Lord, please send by the hand of whomever else you may send. Ah, so the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses. And he said, Is not Aaron the Levite your brother? I know that he can speak well. And look, he's also coming out to meet you. When he sees you, he'll be glad in his heart. Moses still made excuse. The same person he recommended, Aaron, was the one that made the golden calf for the children of Israel. The reality is God wanted Moses alone to do the work. But Moses was so incapacitated and he saw so much of his inadequacy that he could not embrace who God made him to be. And I do not want you to be in that place. If God has called you to something because of your fear and you're partnering with the wrong people, maybe that's why it's not working. And God is, I want you to do it. I want you to do it. God still looked over all the excuses of Moses and still used him. And at the end, when Moses was referenced in Acts chapter 7, it was said of him, Moses was taught all the wisdom of the Egyptians and he was powerful in both speech and action. So your inadequacy might look like your reality, but that is not who you are. You can get out of such reality and get to a new reality. Now, you don't have to let the voice of your inadequacy to be louder than the voice of the potential that God has put inside of you. Allow your potential to be expressed. The third and final thing is what are your insecurities? Sometimes you're just insecure because you don't have confidence. You feel like you can't do it because you're too young, you're too old. And there is someone in the Bible that had this excuse. I am too young. I'm too young. I'm a child. I still have more time ahead of me. And this was a mistake that I feel like I made because when I was in my 20s, I, I felt like I had time. But then I didn't have time. Now I feel like time is against me because I've not gotten a lot that I would like to get. You don't really have time and you're not too young. You're not too young to step into your purpose. You're not too young to be used by God. You're not too young to walk in the purpose that God has called you. It is just that the society can make you feel like you are still a child. Go and sit down one place. Why are you bothering yourself? But that is a lie. God said to Jeremiah when Jeremiah said, Oh, sovereign Lord, I said, I can't speak for you. I'm too young. The Lord replied, Don't say I'm too young. For you must go wherever I send you and say whatever I tell you. It's a must. <laughs> and don't be afraid of the people for I will be with you and will protect you. I, the Lord, have spoken. Some people may not say they are too young. Some may say, I am too old. I am too old. I've wasted my years. 
I've wasted my time. Whether you feel like you're too young or you're too old to do what God has called you to do, these are just excuses. There's no timeline for God to use any man. At what age was Abraham called? Can you remember? 75 years of age. Abraham was called out and had so much love Abraham's posture. That is why he's called the father of faith because he had no time for the excuses. I believe he must have learned a lot in his life that is like, I'm not going to make no excuses. I already know how my life is. I've not fulfilled my purpose in life. So why am I going to give excuses about this? I'm going to step out and do what God has called me to do. So immediately when God called on to Abraham and said, go out, Abraham moved without knowing where he was going. And in Hebrews chapter 11, it is said of him, by faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. Faith will actually silence your excuses if you only decide to walk in faith. Now, faith is not I believe. Faith is I believe I speak. I believe I do. Faith without works is dead. God has called you to do something and you say you believe. Get up. Do it. Starting this YouTube channel, I'm so happy for the people that have commented that one of the videos here has been a blessing to them. I'm so, so happy about that. I'm not doing it for the comments, but I love the comments because it shows me that it's something that is of value for people. It is helping people. And that is my desire. If you're watching this video, quit making excuses. Just get up. Get up now. Do what God has called you to do. I am OM. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and let us work together. Drop your questions in the comment section. And if you have anything that you're struggling with, that has been a place that you've made excuses why you've not gotten where you have to go to, drop it in the comments and maybe your vulnerabilities are going to help one or two people. Thank you and God bless you. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.